everybody. I've got Noah here and Isabel. And I wanted to show you what he's wearing today. He's, he looks so happy, doesn't he, with his blue eyes. And he's wearing a plaid, plaid little, um, uh, plaid shorts, little overalls. And it says Baby Beluga on it. And he's very intently looking at the camera. He's, he knows he's pretty cute. And I love his little hands. They look like he's going to grab something and start playing with it. Um, I love this baby because he's so chunky. He's got little chunky legs. As you can see, he's got his chunky legs. And he weighs like six pounds. He's the Grant Sculpt. And I just bought him these little gray shoes that he has on. I don't know if you can see them. But they're really cute on him. I just love little shoes on the older babies. So he's about six months, six to nine months. And he loves playing. I've got I've got a, a arc, Noah's arc, and some little toys that he's gonna be playing with while I read a story. So he says I want to play right now. That's what he wants to do. He wants to play with some toys. It's been rather cool here. So I, I have him, I've got a really cute sweater on him that has a little train. He says, Mama, what are you doing? So he's all happy. He's a happy boy. So I'm going to send him back and then he can play with his toys. I've got, oh, right in the line, you've got your little toys here. Should we get, oh, you're still looking at the camera? So I've got some, uh, here's Noah's Ark. It's like a cloth, cloth toy, and it's got a whale or dolphin and some little fish. I think we all know the story of Noah's Ark, and it's got panda and an elephant and a giraffe. I think it's really cute. I got this when my kids were little, and now they kind of grew out of it. And there is... Noah right there and uh, it came with some really cute little animals. There's a lion, a lion and an elephant and a zebra and a panda, all sorts of little animals and a kangaroo. I always like kangaroos. See there's a little kangaroo and uh, so these all go in the little boat, and little Noah is going to play, aren't you, Noah? You're going to play with these. Very appropriate. Noah's Ark, and your name is Noah. Yeah. So here's your little toys. You can play with your toys. Yeah, you like to play with those, don't you? Yes. And they're soft. My kids used to like playing with soft toys. So. And he's got a little monkey, monkey back here that he likes too, don't you, Noah? Yeah, you like that monkey. So, and then I've got little Isabel, and she's she's my newborn baby. And she's always sound asleep, as you can see. She's sleeping away. There she is. And she's got her little nookie. Yep, yeah, you got your nookie, see? Yeah, there we go. And I just bought her this blanket the other day. That was such a cute little blanket. So I'm going to feed her a little bit while we talk. I figure she must be getting hungry. You know, babies need to be fed like every four hours. And um, so it's been about four hours since she just last ate, isn't it? Little Isabel. And I love her little outfit. She's got this little little one-piece outfit. And it's got a little m mice. And her little hat matches. She's got a little matching hat to go with it. Yeah. And these little green booties were knitted by somebody. I'm not sure who. But I thought they went perfect with her little, with her pajamas. Right, Isabel? Just don't wake up. Yep. So I'm going to feed her a little something. Like I said, she's really, really hungry. She hasn't eaten for a few hours. Right. So let's feed you. And I've got a bottle here. 
Oh, it's a, what is that, newbie bottle. And uh, I know a lot of you like this bottle. It's kind of a neat one. It came with one of my other babies. I've got another baby downstairs. And uh, I do intend to modify more bottles. I always love baby bottles. So we're going to feed little Isabel. Um, this coming weekend, I'm going to be going to Canada. And I'm pretty excited. We're having a family reunion. And it's my family from South America is going to be there. Um, it's in London, Canada. So we're going to fly there. My mom and I are going to fly there. And then my brother and sister are going to be there. And my dad. And uh, we're kind of celebrating my dad's 80th birthday a little earlier. Okay, here we go, Isabel. Oh, yum. Mmm. <gasps> there we go. So, it's going to be quite the reunion. We're expecting maybe 15 people to come. And, uh, so everybody's got their passports. And I've got to decide what I'm going to take. I know a lot of you travel and, um, and it's always hard to know what to take on trips. Is that good? I guess I always try to take clothes for warm weather and cool weather because you just never know what the weather is going to be like. Right, Isabel? Never know. I've never taken my babies um, out outside of the house. I keep them in the house most of the time. But maybe someday I'll decide to travel with them. I know some of you have flown in a plane with your babies and I think that's such a neat idea. So anyway, right, Isabel? Yeah. So she's sound asleep. I always have that, do that little rocking motion. You know, we all, I think when you have a baby, automatically, you feel like you got to rock back and forth. Right. rock a bye baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bar breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come, baby, cradle and all. That was one of the little songs I used to sing to my dolls when I was a little girl. But now Isabel gets to be sing to, don't you? So anyway, there's little Isabel, and she's such a sweetheart. There she is. And I like anything from Carter's, this blanket. Um, was made from Carter's, and they they make the cutest things. Right, Isabel. Yeah. So I'm gonna put your little nookie on. There we go. Oh, well, I hope it's not leaking. The bottle isn't leaking. No. There we go. So there's there she is with her passy. She looks really cute. Yes, I just love those pajamas. It's pretty, like I said, it's been kind of cool around here the last couple of days. So I finally decided, okay, I'll put warm pajamas on her. I just hope summer isn't quite over yet. It's only almost the end of June, so I'm hoping we're going to get some 80s again. So anyway, there's little Isabel. I'm going to set her down. Right, Isabel. Yes. Oh, we'll put you right next to your little brother. There we go. Oh my goodness. Yes, you are a sweet little thing. There we go. She says, Mommy, I want to go to sleep. There we go. So, here she is. There. Oh, I'll take your nookie off for a little while so they can see your sweet little face next to your little brother, big brother. Right? As you all know, I'm looking around and he's having fun playing with his toys, aren't ya? You're having fun playing with the toys. Yes, you can see the camera, can't you? So we'll play with toys and you can pretend you're putting them in there. Oh, yes, we have fun with our toys. We have with the zebra and the elephant. Here we go. Here we go. You are such a sweet boy. Yes, you're always ready to play, aren't you? So, right there. 
Oh, my goodness. And here's a panda. It's fun dressing our babies. I sure enjoy. I have fun finding new clothes for them. And sometimes it's nice to find bargains out there. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, there. He's watching. He's watching very intently. So I'm going to read a story today, and it's called Sweet Dreams. Oh, oh, oh she's leaking. I hope the bottle isn't leaking. So it's called Sweet Dreams. And there's a little girl with her little teddy bear. And it, the art is by Bessie Gutman. And she sure does some beautiful work with dolls, with babies and everything. So, I'm just going to read a couple little stories, a couple little poems. Oh, here's a little girl, and she's with her little teddy bear, as you can see. And it says, Dreamland isn't far away. It's very near your bed. It's there beneath the pillow where you rest your sleepy head. How curious you must agree that Dreamland's here each night. And in the morning when you wake, it vanishes from sight. Oh, can you think of other lands that you might recognize? One, ones you can only go to see when closing, shut, when closing shut your eyes. The time has come to snuggle in and hug your teddy bear. And off you go together now. Sweet dreams will take you there. See, there's a baby sleeping. I don't know. It seems like when babies are sleeping, it's such a peaceful thing. When you, we see our reborn sound asleep, it kind of makes everything so peaceful and quiet. Um, yeah. Oh, here's another one. There's a little girl, and she's holding her little doll. And she's got two dolls. She's got one on the bottom, and she's holding the other one. And she has curly hair. And it says, some dolls I have are fancier, and some are better dressed. Some talk, have painted faces, but I think old friends are best. You've been so true through thick and thin. You're, you cheer me when I'm gloom. And when I see your trusty smile, I know that you're my, my chum. Let, let others say you're broken or you're raggedy and torn, but you're the one I loved love to hold when I wake up each morn. So there we go. There's another little girl. Isn't she sweet? How are my babies doing? There's little, little Noah. And you're watching the camera. Aren't you? You like the story, don't you? You're liking the story a lot. Yes. And let's see. Oh my gosh. And should we put the little toys? In, in the Noah's Ark. Okay, we'll do that. I always found with my little, with, when my kids were little, I love to come up with ideas of things for them to play with, things to do. So see, there's an elephant. And it's fun to role model, role play with these babies. It's kind of fun, because we all like to do the same thing. So, there we go. And he says, oh my gosh. Right here. Here's a line. You want to put it right in there? Yeah. I'm going to put it right in there. Oh my goodness. Yes. And here's a kangaroo. Yeah. Oh, such a sweet baby. There's a kangaroo. Yeah. Should we read one more, one more poem? And then we'll say bye to all the aunties out there. So, yeah. We're going to read one more poem. And little Isabel is down to sleep yet, so we'll let her sleep. There we go. Oh, you got to sit up a little bit, little guy. Oh, my goodness. There. All right. Oops. So we'll put all your things over here. There we go. Oh, little Isabel. Yes, she's down to sleep. Oh, I just got to check this bottle. I think it was leaking or something. Let me see. I love baby bottles. They're just so cute. And I bought this. When I bought this, I um, it came with the um, formula already in it. 
and there's different ways of making it so I'm not sure how they did this one but um, it sure looks like real milk or, or formula and uh, so anyway it's fun to pre pr role play with the babies it's so much fun to role play so I'm going to read one more poem and then we're going to say bye bye right little Isabel yes we're going to say bye bye there we go there Oh my goodness, little baby girl. There. All right, I'm going to find a different story. I love this picture of the baby. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with this picture, but I think it is so cute. With the soft hair and the brown eyes. Um, and I know some of you might even have it framed. Have a picture frame like that. So that is so cute. All right, I'll read one more. Let's see. Which one could we read? Oh, here's one with a little boy and a little puppy dog. I think that's a little boy. Oh, yes, it's a little boy. Ben likes to build things with his blocks, a tower or a town, and just as soon as they're stacked up, his puppy knocks them down. So patiently the little boy begins to build again, and carefully puts block on block six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Temptation's not a thing that that wiggling puppies can ignore. And once again, the wooden blocks come tumbling to the floor. So there's a little boy, as you can see. And he's got he's holding a puppy. I think that is so cute. Right, Isabel. And Noah, look at all the stories. Are you listening to the story? Well, I guess for right now we'll say goodbye. And thanks for um, watching my my Reborn ch um, channel. And I hope you, till the next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.